I'm so proud of you. Yes. That's basically if somebody. Well, what happens is you do a strike and you have to do this and you pull with this. Bah, it's a quick hit. Now this watch this is going to go on the left, but then this stick is going to go this way so that we do not hit your elbow. And then the right hand will go underneath. So watch. So again, see it goes up towards your chin, out. So for now, you're going to go towards your chin and go to the outside. And just go like this. Just let it swing. When you get the rhythm, you're going to slide the right hand under your elbow. So look. And then it's going to catch it. Now I'm going to let go of the left hand on top and turn the right palm over. Good. And now I'm going to stick this left hand underneath the right elbow and let it return. This might be a tricky part. So my right hand is going to throw towards the elbow, but then it's going to turn upward. So watch twice. Look. So see, it just went from here to here. And then I'll have to film you all the applications. Yes. And now look, open up. You cross it, but one hand, left hand will go up a little bit while the right hand goes across. So watch. Look. So all of it is does like a bounce back. So left hand will go up and right hand will come underneath and then you, you switch. Back and, oh, yes. So this is what you have. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then let me do it from here. One, two, roll. Chase. Left hand's like this. Left thumb, watch. So what happened was I went like this and I threw it behind. This is close. Right. So that way, when I go like this, look. So that way you can flip it at the guy. Like. So look. You can keep doing it. So that way if you're doing your kata and you're here and you have a cross and then you have a switch and then you have here and then you can do a couple of these and then you can switch and then you can continue your technique. So this is called the chase. What's it called again? Chase. Chase. Because it's chasing each other. So again, right hand on this right shoulder. Easy. Under the right armpit. Uh -huh. Under the right armpit. Because then naturally you can switch under the left armpit. Under the right armpit. And there's a reverse. He's got a videotape, the high. So look at this. Under the armpit. Left hand is here. Look. So look. That way when the guy is swinging a sword in front of you and you can't go like this because the weapon will hit your weapon, you can switch it behind your back and then come out. Right. So again, so if you have the chase, I bounce, I have this, then I could do the high. Yes. Let's try. Can you do the tumble? Good luck. It's going to go around this part of your leg because this part is really thick. So I'm going to have to lift up my leg and let it go around the upper calf. So watch again. Look. I'm, I'm here. I strike once, and now is when I go like this, look, and you strike again. So again, so look, so the thumb is going to slide around here, so when you have this, you'll get it. You'll get it. Because then naturally you have this, you can do the reverse tumble here, and the reverse tumble back. Then you have up here, then you can do the high. You guys do the uh, tumble switch. Right, so after you work on getting the tumble, because later on you can do jump kicks, 
Why are you doing this? It's really cold, but it's really difficult. So when you have this, look, and it's around the wrist. Are you ready to focus? Left hand. Right hand towards the ear, look. And then I catch with the right hand. No, uh, let it do a tumble. Yes, do that. Then you catch it on this. Oh, yeah. Try to get one, catch. Let it come around the wrist. Easy. Now you're going to do the same thing on the left side. So look. Other way. Take the reverse tumble. Yeah, there it is. Now grab it with this hand. Now let it go, and then you have this. So that way you have it constantly moving like this. Yes. Back the other way. Because the reverse tumble is a little more difficult to do than this one. You need the opposite way. Around the wrist, grab it. Easy. Take a breath. Now try the other side. Do you have it like this? Look, look. Left ear. Look, right ear. Left ear, right ear. So when it's like this, left ear, look. And then you do it. Yes! Uh huh, you grab it. This one, right ear. Oh, you got it. Easy. What ear? Yes, go ahead. Then do it. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, and that way you can keep that going. Okay, next one. Before we sign some stuff, I think I'm getting the look. You have to, you have to, we call this, we have, if it goes up, we call it a tupper. If it goes down, we call it a flower, just so that way we can get the terminology clear. So, see how it's going down? Down now, look. Right. So go left, right, under. Left, right. This is important because we're going to add the tumble. So look. So we're taking this, and when it's on the inside, I do this, and then I bring it to here, and now I bring it towards my thumb, and I catch it, and then I go under, and then I have that. So when it's connected, it will look like that. No, that's a lot of coordination. So again, look. So when you're doing this, just try to get through. Under, under. So two hits on one side. Because the guy is used to you hitting like this, so naturally when he catches on, I go like this. And I hit twice on the uh, same angle. Right. Because instead of blocking like this, all of a sudden it's double hit on one side. So you can vary your combination. Alright, let me see it. Ready? Uh, so Thumb down. When it's on the outside, thumb down. Good. Yeah. 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 Y